Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Class MTG, and we're going to take a peek under the Christmas tree today because we had a couple spoilers come off uh, in the middle of Facebook somewhere. Um, don't know where they came from, how they came about, uh, but they look legit. They seem to have the right kind of pictures. Probably a planned leak. But there's nothing better than opening Christmas early with a couple of Magic the Gathering leaks from All Will Be One. And these are some doozies, guys. So, don't forget, there's a sale going on in my store. Links in the description. Uh, buy any four items or more. Get 10% off the whole purchase. And don't forget to subscribe or try and get to 1,000 peeps. I'd greatly appreciate it. So, let's take a look. See what Santa brought early. As it comes to leaks for All Will Be One. So we're going to take our first look at this card here. So Green Suns Twilight. So a green and X. Uh, sorcery reveal X cards plus one uh, from your library. Choose a creature card and or a land card from among them. Put those cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Now if X is five or more, instead put the chosen cards onto the battlefield or into your hand and the rest on the bottom in random order. So, first things first, we're going to have a X spell like this for every color. We've seen the blue one. This is the green one. Uh, it reminds me very much of Green Sun Zenith uh, and those other spells, you know, Blue Sun Zenith, so whatever. This is, instead of Zenith, it's a Twilight, so kind of the setting sun. Now, with that being said, it's going to be really cool with the other, with the, uh, other colors. Now let's talk about this card. For one, for one green, you can look at the top card of your library and put a creature or land from among them into your hand. Now, as long as you're not playing a lot of instances of sorceries, this is pretty much a one green draw card. Now, if you can wait till I don't know, turn two, you can look at two cards because it says plus one. And if you're playing a ramp deck, this thing is just going to be bonkers because six mana is not a hard thing to do. Okay. Let's be clear about that. Um, and this would be one green and five, which means it could go into any deck as a splash of, I mean, all ramp decks are normally green. So it's green. So it's got that going for it. But point being, um, any kind of ramp deck with this is just going to be insane. Um, I think this is going to be a very big card, and it's only a rare, um, not just in standard, but probably in the older sets as well, because the ability for six mana to get a land and a creature out of the top, so if you, if you cast it for, for five, it'd be six, uh, in the top six cards of your deck, um, that's just absurd. That's almost like the, uh, not Aetherflux Reservoir, what was the other one? The one that uses energy unless you mill through your deck and put big nappies on the table. Um, and not to mention the fact uh, there's going to be a lot of big Phyrexians probably that are extremely broken. Um, that people could be putting into their deck that they can use to use this to fish them out. I mean, and in older formats, I mean, let's be honest. Six mana might be hard to get. But when you look at formats like Brawl, Explorer... Uh, Pioneer, uh, maybe even Modern to some degree, this can just be insane. Um, I mean, heck, we've seen a lot of decks in Modern here recently be more on the high side, not like Modern's used to be and where everything's one, two mana. Like we're used, now we're seeing decks that's got things like Uro for five mana, you know, Ormnath, uh, you know, ele five color elementals like this easily slots into that into those kind of decks. Um, I think this is going to be a real superstar coming out. Um, you notice down here, this is a buy a box promo. Um, so the one in the actual uh, set's probably going to be a little different picture, but I do like the picture. Um, you know, you got a big Phyrexian in the background, little mini Phyrexians running around it, trying to worship it. Probably um, great card. Um, being a buy a box promo might be the only thing that keeps it from being ungodly expensive. Um, 
And hopefully they don't do what they did with some old buy a box promos where you can only get the promo by buying the box. Because if so, that means the green one won't be in the set and it'll be very hard to get. I don't think they're going to do that because that would make this card also very expensive. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but at the end of the day, this has definitely got to be something for all those green decks out there. If you're not playing this, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, also, Commander, powerhouse card. I don't know how you don't want to play this in Commander. So get them while they're hot, guys. Um, if they're not cheap now, or when the pre when the uh, pre order comes out, wait a couple weeks. Price will probably go down once everybody starts cracking packs. Um, but that's my my gist on it. So we looked at one. Now let's look at the next one. And the next one is a planeswalker. So we have Kato, the Dancing Shadow. So he's a black, blue, and two. Planeswalker. It says whenever one more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, you may return one of those to your hand. If you do, you may activate loyalty abilities of Kato twice this turn rather than only once. That's really cool, especially since this is going to be out during a time when ninjutsu is a thing. Uh, it may get breathe, breathe some life into some of those ninjutsu decks that aren't really performing anymore. But anyway, what's he do? So for plus one, up to one target creature can't attack or block until your next turn. If you get to hit somebody in the face with a flyer and make two of their creatures not attack or block, this is absurd. Um, not to mention, once you lay it, you can make the one blocker they have that flies not block, so you can hit with your flyer, and then make the other one not be able to attack or block either. Therefore, it protects himself. Therefore, makes him a good planeswalker. Also, for zero, you can just draw a card. No drawback, no discard, no nothing. You just draw. And for minus two, you get a 2-2 colorless drone artifact creature token with death touch. And when this creature leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Good call, uh, good mechanic there. Great in commander. You know, block and everybody loses two, you gain two. Um, all that being said, this is like a really powerful planeswalker. However, four mana may hurt it a little bit. Um just because we've gotten to the point now where we're seeing a lot of three mana planeswalkers and we've really gotten used to it. But with that being said, I think this is powerful enough that it might just be a thing. Um, like I mentioned, this could make ninjutsu decks a thing, a thing again, um, or not. It could just make a quick black or blue deck with, that does damage a thing. Uh, simply because all you gotta do is be able to hit somebody, you know, pick up your creature, tell them they can't attack with it. You know, then relay the creature. The creature has enter the battlefield triggers. Uh, it makes it even better. Um, I mean, there's just so many things you can, so many shenanigans you can do with this. That's just absurd. Um, yeah, like, I mean, there's that white creature. It's a legend. And when it comes into play, you can disenchant something. Imagine picking that thing up and then laying it again to disenchant something. Like, just keep bouncing that back and forth. You know, I mean, there's just so many things. There's things that enter the battlefield that let you draw cards, things that enter the battlefield that kill things, things that enter the battlefield that exile things. Like, it's just incredible what this could do for you um, played in the proper deck. And now I, I'm just trying to think of, like, standard stuff. Now, when you can start getting to things like Commander, you know, Brawl, Pioneer, you know, you've got creatures that enter the battlefield and kill things. They enter the battlefield and do stuff. Like, you know, pick up Ormath, cast him again, giggles to draw another card. Like, there's tons of crazy things you can do with this. And what's really crazy is this is a rare Planeswalker. I find it odd that this Planeswalker is a rare. Most Planeswalkers are mythic, so that makes me wonder about some things like if this is their idea of a rare what's a mythic gonna look like in this set i mean jesus this is this is incredible um also with that said do want to point out love the art how he's slashing open uh some phyrexians here and notice the 2-2 cuddleless drone is uh right here it's a little panda you know raccoon panda whatever love it so uh got christmas early got a couple of, couple of new leaks they're powerful cards it looks like the set's going to be powerful Cannot wait to see it. So with that said, guys, if you stuck around to the end, remember, links in the description to the eBay store with the sales going on. Uh, my Patreon, if you want to support the channel and help out, I really appreciate it. Also, my email is down there if you just want to say hey. And 
as always, guys, until next time, be kind. And I hope to see you across from the game table. And a Merry Christmas. No, not Happy Holidays, damn it. Merry Christmas.